This is the demonstration video for Warehouse Insights new extension Overpicking. This extension gives users the ability to overpick quantities on picks for production orders. For production processes, sometimes users have to pick quantities more than required quantities that are later on scrapped or overconsumed during the production processes. This extension allows overpicking by using reclass journal lines and it moves the overpicked quantity from the item source bin to the production bin that's been set up in the location card. This extension can be installed from our new warehouse inside add-on catalog. You will just have to select the application icon and click on the install button. It has already been installed in this environment. And uh, there's a download extension button over here as well. Using this action, you can download the source code for this application and you can use that to customize or add functionality to this application. Once the extension has been installed, it will also add the custom field on the scanner application for overpicking and also update the scan behavior for a pick document, which will allow users to overpick quantity on a pick document on the scanner. Now, if we go to warehouse insert application and this pick doc application, we check the columns, there will be a new custom field added for overpicking as a column in the scanner devices. When we open a pick on scanner, we will see this new field added at the footer of a pick document. This extension needs to be configured in Warehouse Insight device configuration. My scanner is currently connected to this test location. And uh, after installing the, ex the extension, it is going to add this overpicking section in the warehouse fast app. There are uh, two fields that we need to set up, reclass journal batch, a batch which will be used by scanner to create reclass line for overpicking. And these are options to enable and configure overpicking. Disable, as the name describes, it will disable the overpicking application on scanner. When it's set to disable, the scanners won't be able to overpick quantity and you'll get an error message. The other three options are source bin, reclass, and put away. Source bin, when we select this option, um, when we overpick, there will be one reclass line created and that line will be moving the overpicked quantity from the item bin to the production bin. Reclass, this will create two reclass line. One, which is moving the which is moving the overpicked quantity from the item bin to the production bin. And another reclass, which is a diverse entry, which will be moving the overpicked quantity from the production bin to the item bin. And uh, the second line, which is a diverse reclass, that will be created using the ad hoc movement reclass patch. That line will can be handled on the ad hoc move application on the scanner. Suppose there are five overpicked quantities for a pick and uh, there were two that were scrapped and we have three items left in our production bin that can be used later on. On that reverse D-class line that has been created, you can update the quantity that you want to move back to the item bin and then post that entry in the ad hoc move application. And there's put away, this will create one reclass line that will be moving the quantity again from item bin to production bin. And it after the document has been posted, it will create a put away document to move back the quantity to the desired bin. Now in this demonstration, we will be demoing all of these three options available. We'll start with source bin. For item reclass journal batch, you will have to select create new batch for overpicking. And this needs to be an exclusive batch just that that so that just use for overpicking only. Make sure the number series here are not set for this batch. That has been selected. Now I have created some picks from production orders that we will be handling. Now if we check, it is set to source bin. So it will create one reclass line for the overpicked quantity. Now I have this pick over here. Um, it requires two items for a production item. And we have, we require one of 8096S and two of 1900S. We scan, I think it was a wrong scan. Now let's scan the item.
let's open the pick This was pick one nine. We have these overpicked field added to the warehouse and warehouse activity line and the page. So quantity to be handled is one, and the overpaid quantity is now two. Now, if we check the item reclass line, for reclass journal. And for overpick, batch that we have selected, we see this reclass line we created for the overpick quantity, that is two, and the document number is the pick number that we are overpicking from. And now let's check the bin content. If we check pin contents now, let's go over here. We see this is our production bin, and currently it has 14 of 1896 items. After posting this pick, if it was without, it was not an overpick. This would be incremented by one, and this would be decreased by one as well. Now, when we post this pick, we will see an addition of three to the production bin and this the subtraction of three from 1896 bin due to the reclass line that will be posting simultaneously after the, the pick has been posted. We will get a message over here which will explain to the user that over what has been handled, what has happened to the overpaid quantity. The remaining overpaid quantity is still present in the production bin. If we refresh the bin content now, we will see the change. So three has been removed and three has been added over here. Now let's test the other overpick behavior. We will go to device configuration and we will change the overpicked handling from source bin to reclass. To get out of here, it, we get out of edit mode so the change has been saved. And I'm just gonna open a new tab so we can easily change it later on as well. Now, we only handled one item on that pick, so that pick should still be here so we can reuse it for the other item. We have this pick now, and there's only one item left on this pick because 8096 is posted. Now, for this one, it requires two. And uh, now, let's. Now, it requires two. We will pick five instead. So, there will be over pick of three. The fields are updated. A reclass line has been created, which we can see over here. Um, we, this needs to be refreshed, but for our ad hoc move, we have this batch, which have selecting the device configuration card. We will see a reclass line of three, which is moving the quantity from the production bin to the source bin. And for the overpick quantity that is being moved to production bin, there will be one line that has been added under the overpick batch. Now, the reverse line will also be seen in this ad hoc move module in her warehouse inside application. It is moving the quantity of three from production bin to the item source bin. Now, let's go to that pick. And when we post it, we will see the bin contents will be incremented here by five. And we got the message that ad hoc B class entry has been created for the orbit quantity. 
So when we refresh this, this will turn to eight. So five of that quantity has been added to production bin. And we are in the ad hoc move application now that there is an overpick of three. Let's assume that we scrapped one item while the production process and there are still two good items left which can be reused for a different process later on. So we will update this line. We will select two over here that we want to move back to the original item bin. And when we post it, the quantity for the product bin will be decreased by two. Now, the third configuration for overpicking is for putaways. Let's go back in the edit mode and we will change reclass to putaway. This is going to create a reclass entry, moving the overpicked items from the source bin to production bin. And after we post, it will create a putaway document for us so that we can handle the overpicked quantities later on. Now, let's open a pick which has not been handled in picking application. This is a new pick. And let's scan a bin, an item. Scan the wrong one, I think. Or, okay, we scan an item. Let's overpick by three. Overpick already created, a reclass line has been created. Now, when we post this pick, it will update the production bin quantity and afterwards it will create a put away document for us. This put away has been created. Now, if we go check put aways, we will see a put away document for that quantity created with taken place lines for production bin to the item original bin. Now there's one more thing, as Business Central by default does not allow overpicking, so we won't be able to overpick items from Business Central. And if we end up deleting a warehouse pick or updating the line quantity for a warehouse pick from Business Central, any reclass lines that previously has been created will be deleted, which we can quickly test as well. So this pick is still left with this quantity. Scan a bin. And let's overpick by three, let's overpick by one. And we have this overpick quantity created. And if we go check the pick now, this has an overpick of one. As BC does not allow us to overpick quantity to handle over here. If we are changing any quantity in here, we set it to one or we set it to zero, the overpicked field here will be updated and set to zero and the reclass journal line which was created for this overpick under the overpick patch would also be deleted so and if now we check our document we close it and reopen it the overpick quantity has been reset One thing that I also want to mention over here, as the reclass lines are being created for ad hoc move, that ad hoc move reclass batch and the overpick reclass journal batch needs to be different, make sure they're not same and make sure for both of these reclass journal batches, number series are not set because that's going to create an error in business central because then it will be looking for a sequence of sequence of the document number so this is how you can configure the overpick application and thank you for watching hey thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below don't forget to subscribe for more great content and remember to hit that bell icon to stay updated. See you in the next video.